After a study that spanned more than a year, the Greene County Health Department released its finding on mental health in Greene County. The summary of the study was made available this morning at a news conference. As part of our medical coverage report, Jesse Inman found out why some things are heard as are hard as a result of this study are hard to hear. Yeah, it was really focused on mental health, this study was, and also how some of those mental issues were connected to substance abuse. But the biggest takeaway were some of the statistics, as well as the changing way that we think about mental health as a whole. Our suicide rate here in Springfield and Greene County is higher than the national average. In the past few years, that rate has gotten progressively worse in Greene County. Assistant Director at the Health Department Katie Towns says that increase is likely due to the fact that mental health and substance abuse just isn't talked about enough. That stigma plays such a role in mental health and substance abuse throughout our community. It really um, sort of provokes a lack of acknowledgement of issues, which can oftentimes prevent people from acting and or from seeking help. In the summary of the study, it shows that Green County suicide rates went up 71 percent from. 2008 to 2017, 90 percent of those deaths suffered from either substance abuse or mental illness, and men are especially at risk. The study found that suicide rates were 221 percent greater in men than they were in women. The head of the health department, Clay Goddard, made a call to the men in the room today. And I suspect that a lot of that is that we try to be strong and that we don't talk. We don't talk to our spouses, to our families. Uh, if we're uncomfortable with that, we don't talk to our buddies. Man, we've got to realize that it's okay to be strong and bold. I lost my son to suicide uh, two years ago. At just 19 years old, Sam Holmes took his own life, and his mother, Mary Jane, volunteers with Speak Up Missouri to try to prevent others from doing the same thing. I think the stigma played a huge role for him. He was so concerned about what people thought, which is a normal 19 year old. Thing. He came to us his senior year in high school and told us that he didn't want to live anymore and that he had struggled with suicidal thoughts since middle school. As the family tried to work through Sam's anxiety and depression, he took his life about a year later. And now Mary Jane encourages others to seek help as early as possible. Now, the health department has a task force in place whose job is to work with schools, the justice system, and health care. And the goal of that is to try to bring access to more people and make getting that first step easier.